In this Illustrator tutorial, let's take a look at how to rearrange artboards. So I have a bunch of artboards out here of all kinds of different sizes, and they also all have a piece of text on them just to show you how you can move artwork with artboards. First, you kind of need the artboard tool. You can get to that in the toolbar over here, or by pressing Shift O as your shortcut key, or over in the properties panel, you actually have edit artboards, which basically selects that tool and gives you some properties over here. Now we have rearrange all right here, but the first thing I want to show you is to manually rearrange your artboards. Check mark move artwork with artboard if you want to move the artwork with the artboard. And then you can actually move artboards around and line them up however you want. If you see those pink lines where things line up and intersect, those are called smart guides. In the view drop down, you can turn on smart guides. And also you can turn on Actually, no, that's good. Just smart guides, and they should be able to snap into place too. So as you move these artboards around, you can snap them and line them up. Now, the other thing you can do to rearrange all of your artboards at once is this quick action, rearrange all. So we can click rearrange all, and we have a couple options here. We can actually create a grid. So we can do that by rows or by columns, and then we can determine how many rows there are and or how many columns there are, depending on which one of these you select. You can choose the layout order, so the direction in which the artboards flow. And you can also choose these here, which is just arranging straight by row or straight down the page by column. You would want to pick one of these depending on whether or not you have more vertical designs or more horizontal designs to kind of fit your full uh, workspace a little bit better. You can adjust the spacing and also whether or not artboard or the artwork moves with the artboard. So if I pick this one here and I want, let's say I want three columns, uh, we could do that and then hit OK. And that's going to rearrange from artboard one. And of course, I named the A2, A3, A4. I didn't look at the artboard numbers, but it'll take artboard one and it'll go two, three, four, five, six, all the way in a row. Uh, and then, yeah, you could rearrange this again and say, oh, you know what? I actually wanted two columns instead of three, hit OK, and now it's one, two, one, two, one, two. Now these are all different sized artboards, but it'll do its best to space them out by 20 pixels each, and there may be some gaps and stuff. But if you have similar artboard sizes, this will actually put it into a nice little grid shape for you. And back into rearrange all, you can also just rearrange by row. So if you just want to put them from left to right all the way across, or from top to bottom all the way up and down, uh, you can select one of these, select your spacing, and then hit OK. And that would put them all just lined up in a row uh, from one to six. The last thing that you can do or not do is if you didn't want to move the artwork with the artboard, you could uncheck that. And let's say we put this back into a grid layout. Now when we do this, all of those uh, designators, the, the text blocks out there, won't go with the artboard. So we're gonna hit OK, and you'll see how all the text is still in place but the artboard themselves moved. A lot of times you want to move artwork with the artboard, but maybe you have reason that you don't want to, and that's, that's, a, that's what happens when you don't. But this is how you can rearrange artboards in Illustrator.